Hello and welcome back to episode 34 of the Raid series. Now, um, we just got Punisher Part 4 done, which means we can crack into Punisher Part 5. I need a hand in this um, this uh, disc or I forget. This one. Which we did at the end of the last one. Now, with this one, we need a hand in 5 MREs, uh, which is pretty straightforward, but the 10 uh, scav kills wearing UN uniform um, can be quite annoying when you're trying to do other stuff like kill PMCs, but we've already done that, so we don't have to worry about that now. And marking the two trucks, very straightforward. Um, but we're actually going to put our focus right now into getting Punisher Part 5 done. 10 PMCs wearing Packer and a 6B helmet. So that is factory time, and I'm excited. I love going to factory. Let's hope it doesn't turn to shit for me. Um, I'm even just going to wear this, and I'm going to chuck on contacts. Take it a little bit slower. Now, um, what we can do is maybe take that dead, take that there like that. All right, and we're going to play a little bit slower, try and get those PMC kills. We only need 10 of them, and once that's done, we also have a lot of insurance stuff to get back to. I'm actually pretty excited for. Um, we can just sell these ones. Even got some uh, insurance back from therapist. All these can go in here. Then Rapper's is starting to bring back the goods too. So we've got some backup stuff to uh, use and sell if needed. All right, so into factory we go. Hopefully we get a couple of kills to each run. Should only take us three to four runs as long as we don't die. And we'll be laughing. Let's crack into the first raid. Now, as with normal with factory, we don't want to get caught out. Uh, in a shitty spot, but we also want to try and get a PMC kill with two very early on while they're still spawning in. So, we're going to push the spawn, be pretty aggressive, and hopefully everything goes our way. So, from here, I'm going to watch straight down this hallway. Listening out for any spawns to the left. PMC down. I'm always trying to get get myself in a position where I have the upper hand. I don't know why, why. We're getting into a position. Now. Not fighting like that. That was a bad position to be in, so um, I tried to re reposition to a spot where I have the advantage, which is long range if he was to chase me up. Um, chest and head are always the most important thing you want to heal. I 
pretty sure that was a player scav that was uh, shooting me from both spots. Which kind of sucks, because obviously it's not. There's someone pushing up to the left. I can hear a noise over there. It'll be underneath. <laughs> So that was the same guy. He's dead. Uh, we need to restart this raid because we are busted up. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely busted up. There's no Yes. Well, one kill is better than none, but one kill without dying is better than none, so good start. Alright, so I just wanted to have a look what ammo is in this. Oh, yuck. Um, but I do want to keep on to... I'm just going to hold on to this for now. I'm not going to use it, but I kind of want to hold on to the layout of it. Um, ammunition, we're going to re-top up with some more BP and BT. Um, pretty good with that. Healing up. Ready to go there. Take it another painkiller and laughing. Let's go. Alright, so... Same as last time, hopefully get into a position where we're at work, uh, uh, where I can get to a spot where I can get two to three scavs, so players, really quickly. Alright. Now there's one major spawn to our right here. Sometimes this works really badly. There's one down. I'm going to reload, which I don't really need to do. Two down. Find the ones on the other side, we're laughing. Let's go. Slowing down at the end of this corridor to make sure. That's the same guy again. Now we're trying to look out for that those other players. They're moving nice and quick. I heard a footstep to my left. There's a guy with a shotgun in here, so if he's got buckshot that could really hurt me. Not over it. Over peeking here. He's healing, so he's obviously hurt.
You're healing. Oh, he's using a hit. He's using one of those uh those kits. The takes fifteen seconds. Surgical kits. That's why I pushed it then. Go there for now. Take that. Take that. Better looking shotgun than what that is. And that's three PMC kills. No one right. Obviously, I've had a lot of practice at factory. The factory is a lot easier for me, and it's hard for me. Always talk about the, the reasons why I'm doing everything, but um, the reasons why I pushed down obviously was the surgical kit. I like getting to high ground early, which is why I was up on that um, that spot earlier, uh, up on the rafters, lost it quick, up into the top corridor, waiting for those those pistol runners or the uh, hatchlings to run for the the, the office. Scout coming up behind me. And is that done? Get out of here, full PMCs. Happy days. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Now, obviously, he had the angle of the door. I didn't want to just head peek the door and get shot in the face. Make it a hard target for him. So I moved across, jumped over. He tried to take the shot. Obviously, he hit me. He got me in the leg, though. Um, and then best, I should have uh, pre-popped my pain killers before I went in there. But then if I did get hit in the legs, I could keep moving through it. But overall, that went really smooth. So, uh, four PMCs in that raid, one on before. We have five to go, and we can get this Punisher quest on Lickety Split. So, for the rest of uh, this, I'm just going to be dumping the rest of my stuff, pretty much. Repair this back up to full. doesn't cost much anyway. I'm going to dump this stuff for now. Um, got room for that. Now these dog tags, I'm just going to chuck them all in here for now because we're going to need them for the next quest. Um, reload that. There's a little bit of luck on factory with uh, with spawns and, and if you're going to have real sweaty gear go geared guys in. If I had a real sweaty geared guy in, I would still try and take him on. I'd just have to... Uh, I'd have to get the face shield, pretty much. Uh, Alton's would be a lot harder even with uh, BTMO. You're probably looking for weakening their chest and going from there. Yeah, it's it's not it's not as simple as just what I'm doing right now. Factory seems to be filled with a lot more uh, people with, um, uh, what do you call it? Pistols at the moment, pistols and shotguns, trying to get their quest done. Same with and and the gear I'm wearing right now. So anyway, get into another raid and if we get those last five PMCs. All right, we only last one ten seconds. Good chance we'll be going the left and down the hallway. Fuck off. Ah. Base points in this map, uh, oh, in this game, horrible.
It should be a scav. Let me get this head healed. Really don't like running into this back corner. Again. Leaves you very trapped. Or at least here you can kind of shimmy and run. I was just really cruddy at start. Judge. So what I'm quickly going to do here, I'm going to check these jackets for key. Keys mean money. I really want to kill more players, but at the same time... It's not that simple, you know? Nice shotgun. Eight rounds. Good fight. Pushing down this way is like one of the least favorite things for me to do. But. Oh, that's the other thing. I'm a little bit low on ammo. Someone's already distracted. Most likely. So we got number three. And we have two more to go. Now with the hip firing, you just want to aim center of the screen. So for example, I want to hit like that bar there. Center screen. If you go full auto, it's going to kick up really fast. But after a bit of practice, you can you can hit it pretty accurately. So you just got to practice using it, like shooting at random things, and you'll you'll get to the point where you'll you know be able to hit stuff fairly consistently. That was a really good raid. That was another three more. We have two to go, and then whew, I need your pop five done. I'm excited. It's going well. It's going well. Two more. So we'll dump off that gear. I might have to sell a couple of things to make room. That shotgun's really nice. I might hold on to that one for the uh, Peacekeeper quest we've got going on. Hold on to both those shotguns. Get rid of some of this other, st other stuff. Those pistols. Go, go, go. Go. They can go. They can all go. Go. Cool. I've got a bit more space there now. Um, ammunition, we definitely need to top up. He's getting plenty of these for the next quest, which is nice. Um, BP. BP. Two to go. Two to go. I'm going to take this with me. And each time we go in and we're dropping those rigs and, and, and backpacks and picking up new ones, we're going to get them back in insurance. A bit of insurance fraud, but it's like free loot. It adds up uh, overall, so it becomes really helpful. All right, so um, 
Last one. Two PMCs to go. I'm not worried. I am. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Same as usual. All right, this side. Oh, yeah, I've got the scout quest. We can get that one done pretty straightforward. Um, keeping an eye out for the right here. Hopefully. One. Kill the uh, old arm. Now we're going to prep for the last one. Part five complete. He shot at me first. I'm going to make that clear. He shot at me first. Now we need to go get the uh, the final thing to scout down this way. Ah, oh, that's not going to hear that. Alright, so there's someone running away down this way. There's also the guy behind me with a shotgun still. I think. I just want to get this quest done, so... That should be all the scout quests done. Now we just got to survive factory. Um, so... I think I think that might have been the shotgun guy trying to cut me off. And that's Punisher Part Five pretty much done. We'll hand in this AK. We've got uh, handing some macros and some M4s, and we're done for this quest. So that went really well. Really happy with that. Um, Sorry I didn't explain the fight as much as I would like to. Uh, it's 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 a little bit difficult with that one because of the fact that I'm mentally thinking of trying what I'm doing. Um, but overall, I'm I'm listening to noises and then enacting on how or where the positions of the people are. I had a lot of practice in Factory um, for a long time. It was the only map I played, and now it's made it a lot uh, a lot better for me when I want to do quests on there. So. From here, we need to. I'm gonna sell those two and hold them to that site. Take out that mag. Go in there. So we need. Um, we need space. Yeah. All right, this can come down here. 
Ja. Here. Just sell some stuff real quick. Um, go. You can go. You can go. Inside like that. Remember. You can go. The only thing I want from this is the site. I actually like that site. They can go. They can go. Go. They can definitely go. That can go. But all the things that we want to keep are pretty much... Um, stuff we're actually going to use. We're not going to waste time holding on to things we don't want. We're not going to use. So. The dog tag there for later. Just eat this one for now. Those can come down here. Get chucked in there. This shotgun. Bottom here. We can hand in that AK. So. Crapper. First AK, we need two more AK-74Ns. Yeah. Here. We need four more Makarovs. That will be this side of things done. You can take the um, the bags out. I'll do it. I'll do it for good practice, all right? So, it should be... Ooh. Should be beef ammo. Yeah, it is. It's like, keep the ammo. You can sell the mags if you really want to. If you really wanted to be like, really like, you know, nuts with this, you could take off, say, this stuff too. Because it will still hand in. I don't even think that one you can take off too. But like, if you really want to try and make all the money you can, I don't think you can get away with something like that. Stocks? You can even take the stocks off. So you can hand it in looking like that. Save yourself some, some money. And they'll still hand in. Makarovs. You can take the mags out if you really wanted to. Um... I wouldn't go that far. Me. But yeah, if you're if you're really struggling to make money, that's definitely a tip you can do. Alright, and then for M4s, we don't have him unlocked, so we're gonna have to go to the flea market. Uh, M4A1. We can pretty much buy the cheapest operational M4s possible. So one, two, three. And once again, same thing. You could take off anything on these. That will deem it the gun too much. Obviously, you can't take that off. Um, let's say, like on this one, you could take off them. That, 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 that. So the gas system. Pretty much. With that, I, there's nothing really you can take off this one, unfortunately. But you get the point. Um, and then, wrapper. We hand that in, and that is Punisher Part 5. Wait. Punisher Part 6, we already have a heap of dog tags. We need one more USEC tag, four bear tags, and then 15 PMCs with, um, with an SVD. And we have ourselves uh, Punisher Part 6, which is the Epsilon container. The reward from Punisher Part 5 is um, the Docs case, pistol case, and... I feel like that was Punisher Part 4's reward. Maybe not. Maybe with the cash was part of Punisher Part 5 as well. So there you go. We've got another docs case. We don't need it at the moment, but we'll hold on to it. Um, we'll chuck these down here. Good vendor, that stuff there. We don't need it. If we really want to, we can chuck all our mags in here for now. We'll actually increase the size of that. New. All right, uh, euros, dollars, rubles. Put that up there. I think you can even put ammo in there. Just do that. Well, I've got a tidy stash ish. Tidy ish stash, <clears throat> which is rare for me. All right, so really cool, cool run that one. We didn't even die. Current streak, five wins in a row. So, um, happy days there. I'm going to uh, finish up this episode here. 
We've got Punish Part 5 done. Next one is Punish Part 6. All we need to do for that one is get 15 PMC kills with an SVD. Uh, we could do other quests at the same time, but generally, I just go into Factory. Do the exact same thing as what I did then. Um, but I can wear the best gear I can afford. Go in there, try and get the uh, 15 PMC kills. Sometimes run into a gear guy, get some good loot from that. And we're laughing. We have the Epsilon container from that point onwards, and, and things become a lot easier. A lot easier. Uh, death is nowhere near as punish uh, punishing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching that episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Give me a follow there. If you've got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. First, I was afraid. I was pestified on how moist I would get during this raid series. But then I started recording episodes and I got really confused. But it's okay because I got a lot of pews.